This is part seven, uh, going through the uh, global menu. We just uh, completed the sysx menu. Uh, so here in the global parameters, um, there, uh, it's basically an information page. Uh, first, it'll tell you what firmware is loaded in the liquid foot if you're connected to it. Um, second, uh, now with the parameters you can program. So you have uh, uh, preset button mode, uh, as you probably know by now. Uh, by default, the bottom six presets, P1 through P6, uh, behave as presets. Everything else, uh, all the other switches behave as IA switches from S1 to S16 and S17 to S32 when you're in the second page. Um, you have the ability to program uh, and make the default a 12 button uh, layout, which means the bottom two rows are acting like presets and then the rest of the IA are acting like IA switches. You can swap interchangeably uh, from one to the other uh, just by going into the menu system. This is really just for the default how it power is on. Uh, you can very quickly change this um, uh, using the menu keys uh, while you're playing live. Um, you'll also be able to do this using IA commands and then also in song mode each song can automatically uh, default to either one or two of these modes interchangeably. Uh, MIDI receive channel uh, for the liquid foot to receive program data. You can use other devices to change patches or presets or IA button states um, on the liquid foot. So it actually acts like a receiving device uh, as well as a sending device. So if you want to receive MIDI and have the liquid foot process it internally, then uh, set a MIDI channel that it should listen to. Uh, by default, the sysx ID is 127. Receive MIDI commands, that ties back up to here. Um, uh, by default, it's disabled uh, when you get your liquid foot, uh, but you can enable it either in the liquid foot or through the software. Uh, when it's disabled, which is the default, um, it will not respond to any incoming MIDI commands, um, such as program changes or CC number changes for the IA switches and so forth. It'll just ignore it. Okay, you have another uh, global flag. It's, it's disabled by default. It's called reprocess presets. Basically what this means is that every time you press the preset button, should it reprocess um, all of the um, uh, commands of that preset when you press it again. So I press P1 once, it loads uh, and processes the uh, preset button. If I press it again, by default it'll do nothing. Uh, it'll assume you just hit it twice. Um, but if you're going to use step commands in an IA switch, as an example, or if you just wanted to reprocess all the same commands every time you press the P, uh, preset key, uh, then enable this switch here. And that'll allow the liquid foot to process all the commands or steps. Button scroll speed, it defaults to 110. This is a personal feel uh, type of user interface feature. Uh, the, the lower this number, closer to zero, the faster. Uh, or the, the less of a delay uh, there is uh, between pressing and holding a uh, button on the uh, liquid foot and it moving or scrolling. Uh, so get a number that feels good for you. If uh, the default is too fast, you can most certainly increase that up to 255. Okay, uh, the next section displays the um, liquid, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, device names uh, that you assign to each of the MIDI channels. Um, you can basically put in any seven character um, representation, so maybe this is a um, uh, effects unit, uh, and uh, maybe this is a line six, and so on. So you can just create human readable names. It makes it easier to look at the display uh, when you're using the liquid foot to program, but there's there's something more important to uh, this, and that is the liquid foot has this thing we call device personalities, and there are a couple reserved words that you can type into here, and they allow the liquid foot to behave differently based on the device that's plugged into the, uh, the particular MIDI channel. So in uh, no particular order here, um, Liquid tracks. If you have a liquid tracks, let's say plugged into uh, MIDI port number nine, it's set up to communicate on uh, MIDI uh, number nine, channel number nine. Then type in liquid tracks. Uh, uh, liquid iPod module. Um, I'll discuss that when I release it. Um, Axe effects, uh, which I have plugged into my uh, channel one. 
if you have a Line 6, uh, like a Pod XT Live, uh, it can communicate and synchronize uh, IA states uh, with those devices, so you just type in Line Pod. Uh, Eclipse has special banking features, um, and uh, so if you have an Eclipse, uh, type in Eclipse in the channel, you have it. And then soon we'll be releasing a whole set of G major capabilities. Um, to start with, you'll have a tuner capability within a week, and uh, we'll go from there. So you have to properly um, label the uh, MIDI channel if you want to take advantage of the personalities. That is a very big deal, and uh, most people uh, uh, just forget that particular item. And uh, an example is with the Axe FX. Um, if I go to a, a preset uh, as an example, then and I go into a program a, a PC message. Um, it knows that it's an Axe FX. So you'll notice that instead of normal MIDI, which lets you go up to um, 127, uh, the Axe FX. I'm going to go over the allowed limit for an Axe FX on purpose. Um, but uh, you'll notice that it went to the maximum, which is 383. So uh, this makes uh, bank switching and all that irrelevant. Just you want to do a program change. You want it to go to 383. Uh, our system knows the axe effects and how to deal with it from a personality standpoint, and um, uh, so it behaves properly. Uh, there, When you're syncing to uh, IA switches, it also needs to know whether it's an axe effects or something else, so it properly uh, syncs to that MIDI channel. Okay, and there's more to it, but uh, I'll save that for a later day. Uh, the bottom section here, basically for each MIDI channel, uh, there are two states for a program change message. By default, you can select a patch from 0 to 127, which is the case of most devices. But there are some devices where on the display they start at 1 and go to 128. So instead of forcing you to... Um, uh, uh, do that uh, cross calculation yourself. You can just figure out for each MIDI device that starts with one, just click on it, uh, and that will automatically in the liquid foot set all programming change commands when just for the display it'll start them at one instead of zero and allow you to go to 128 instead of 127. So it takes a lot of the guesswork uh, out of uh, knowing whether you should be adding one or subtracting one. People tend to get confused from time to time. So this just takes all the pain out of it. So by MIDI channel you can set a preset offset of either a zero, which is the default, or by checking it it'll it'll start at one. Pretty straightforward. Okay. The next part in the global section is the uh, expression pedal uh, setup. So normally you would set up a uh, CC or a controller change message. Uh, tell it what um, uh, device you want to program, let's say the axe, uh, pick a CC number that you want to control. And then you can set the type of uh, expression pedal. This is missing. Actually, in a couple days, I'll get all of the real uh, pedal types in there. Uh, there are many more. You now have tap tempo and blast and a few other functionalities. Uh, but if you're just using it or an on-off switch or momentary, um, so you can stick um, uh, foot switches uh, into the liquid foot as well as expression pedals. Um, you have to look at the manual uh, as to how to do that and do it properly. So normally you just leave it linear pedal or expression pedal. Um, and that's it. Uh, in a firmware coming out fairly soon you'll be able to split up each of the expression pedals and so you can send different commands based on uh, how far uh, you've gone through to uh, either heal or toe. Uh, right now they're disabled. Uh, I'll enable them in the next firmware release. And you get split programming for pedals 1 and 2, and then pedal 3 and 4 just behave like regular expression pedals with all the other capabilities that it has, just no splits. So that's the global menu.